Sam has made eggs and potatoes for breakfast. We're gonna eat up. We have another 24 hour sale in front of us. And it's nice to just eat and fill up when you're like in these calm conditions, at least I think it is, because I get a little queasy out there. So we are leaving this nice little anchorage today. We're gonna go cross over to Corsica. It's gonna be like a 24 hour or something like that sale. Uh, so yeah, Sam's pulling up the anchor now. We're gonna head out and onwards, onwards on our journey. So this place that we've been anchored at, it's like a little cove and underneath everywhere here, there's like a bunch of eel grass. Uh, but there are no moorings, so everyone is just like pull, just putting up their own anchors and uh, you could uh, see quite like when you dive down and look at the eelgrass bed you see that there are like these scars from the anchors that has been like <clears throat> dragging or pulling up the, the, the leaves. It's quite, quite sad. I think they should have moorings in a place like this with all these boats coming in. Would like to snatch up one of those one day. So we're sailing out of here, motor sailing out of this bay. That was a nice one. I really like this one. It was the island of the spiders. We saw some of them, but not the big one. So we are going. It is great conditions. It's perfectly windy and sunny. We have the fishing line out over here. We caught a mackerel the other day, so we'll see. We'll see. The fish luck is with us these next 24 hours. We're actually running quite low on food and water, so maybe maybe we need it. We can squeeze water out of fish eyeballs. Out of the eyeballs? Yeah. <gasps> Suck the eyeballs. Oh. So hopefully we get a fish that we could do that with. Should be a big one then. Like a ship or something in the horizon so that you can see like how far down we go. Right. No ships out today. So we made it to Corsica. It was a bumpy ride this crossover as well. It was a lot of wind and big waves but we made it into Corsica this morning and it's a beautiful little uh, place here. It's called Galleria or something like that. Um, we're just anchored on a mooring outside in the We've ordered a hotel room, so we're gonna check in at two, and then we're just gonna have a chill day by the pool, get clean. This hair needs a wash. Uh, we're gonna get some good food and just relax after this. A little stressful, like 20, 21 hours we used. It's not that, it wasn't, we thought we were gonna spend longer. And also we actually averaged around 5.8 knots or something like that, so we went fast surfing along the waves, but 
It's, uh, I still think it's a little scary when the boat goes like all the way over. I uh, couldn't really sleep, but hey, um, I'm getting better. So gotta be happy about that. So I'm just doing some vlogging and setting up the foil. So you could go hydrofoil a little bit. Wow. I'm getting ready to clean the boat. Gotta do my chores. It's a crew member. I think the wind died a little, so I guess he's like, I don't know if he has enough wind out there. He seems to be at least doing all right. I'm here boat watching and I just really hope that we don't start to drag anchor because he's been explaining to me what I'm supposed to do but I don't think I don't know if I will be able to remember it so apparently you just drop the anchor and motor back and try to try the other, other anchor but I'm not sure if I know how to drop the anchor hopefully it won't happen please please don't let it happen Oh. Yes! Good right. landing. Landed, yeah. There are two cows on the beach. Apparently that's the thing here. Going over to get some breakfast. Let's see what they have here. Had a good, good night's sleep at the hotel. But air conditioning is really helping. Going to the store to pick up some goodies before we continue on to like a natural reserve with caves. It looks great. Oh, I just missed it. Here we are. This street looks like a. This street is different. This is like a city street. We just entered. The city. Well, this looks like a new Ga building. Galleria, the Glendale Galleria. That's a school, I bet. Looks new. So you have all the stuff here and giving the boat some new air because it's a little, like a little tiny bit deflated on the one side, but that's fine. Now we're gonna go out to pickle. She's still out there. <gasps> Are we sinking? I'm sinking. I know. It's <laughs> sinking really deep in the sand. Oops. Sails are up. We're on our way to the nature reserve and the rocks over there. They look great from here. I hope they won't disappoint when I get close up. Oh, these rocks are really so good. I think they will. I think they're the best rocks that we've seen in a while. Actually, zoom in on the rocks. Look at those. Wow. Wow. Yes. And there's a there's a rock in there that looks like a rat. Not sinking.
you with the rocks. Don't. Are you going, going on? I know you want to see the rocks, but we have to get a little closer. <laughs> Nice job. Ready? So we just went in for a little dive uh, inside the cave. Uh, but uh, I went in first, I didn't notice it, but apparently there was a jellyfish in there and it got him really bad. Look at that! Are you kidding me? It looks it really looks like you've been electrocuted it's not like or like I got burn. Electrocuted burn, yeah. Oh my god, do we have anything you can smear on that? That rock looks like a rat. Look at those. Look okay ahead? Yep. Uh, it's a little sandy. No, it's okay, I think. We're gonna go see if we can find a place to anchor over here. Look at those cool formations, like that looks great. That is so beautiful. Ha, ha, ha. 